Welcome to Baugan Inglés 4.0, the radio show with Kyle Miller. Following class by class, step by step, the material of Baugan Inglés 4.0 on Aprende Inglés TV. Class 149. Let's go! Beginner. Hello and welcome to class number 149. As always, we will start today with a review of yesterday's class. Class number 148. I was speaking about the verb to speak yesterday. I spoke about it. I spoke about this verb for about six minutes yesterday. Now, I will speak about it again. So, to speak is hablar. In the past, we say, spoke. Every day I speak. Yesterday I spoke. Every day my brother speaks. Yesterday he spoke. Every day my mother speaks. Yesterday she spoke. So, speak is very similar to the verb to talk. However, sin embargo, however, when we talk about languages, we say, to speak a language. To speak a language. We don't say to talk a language. No. To speak a language. And to speak can be a bit more formal than talk. For example, the president is going to speak to the audience. He is speaking to the nation. Whereas talk gives more the idea of charlar. Have a, a, a little conversation or a chat, as we say. But to speak can be a bit more formal. Now, yesterday, I asked you many questions. Did you speak in English yesterday? Yes, I spoke in English yesterday. With the K, spoke in English yesterday. Did you speak to your mother yesterday? And you said out, out, out. Yes, I spoke to my mother yesterday. Okay, so now I would like to talk about... Or, I would like to speak about the use of different prepositions with this verb. I, would, I want to talk about, again, or speak about, speak to and speak with someone. So, these are similar to, sp I spoke with John yesterday. I spoke about the weather. I spoke with John. I spoke to the audience. So we speak, we, we, we say to speak to when we're directing a speech, un discurso, and the audience is listening or people are listening. I'm speaking to them. They are listening. But if I speak with someone, then I'm speaking with them and they're speaking with me and maybe it's more or less 50% I'm, I'm contributing 50% and they are contributing 50%. Speak with. Con. To speak with them. So we are participating. We're all participating in the conversation. We are speaking with each other. But now, on the radio, for example, right now I am speaking to you. I'm not speaking with you because you are not speaking to me. I am speaking to you and you're listening. Well, hopefully you're speaking to me out loud. Hopefully you're speaking out loud. But, really, I'm speaking to you and you are listening. So, I say to speak to. So, again, speak to is more one-sided. It comes from one side. Whereas to speak with implies, implica, it implies the idea of more equal participation from the members of the conversation. Okay? But now let's go back for a few minutes and review a little bit more. Did you speak? So give me, give me the answer. Give me an affirmative answer. Did you speak to the boss yesterday? Yes, I spoke to the boss yesterday. Okay. Did he speak to you? Yes, he spoke to me. Did you speak with each other? Yes, we spoke with each other. Did you speak with the team? Yes, 
I spoke with the team. Did you speak in English? Yes, of course. I spoke in English. Good. All right. So now I've been speaking about it for five minutes, and I would like to move on now and speak about today's translation list. Translation. All right, friends, it is time for today's translation list, which is also yesterday's list. That's right. It's a review, un repaso, a review of yesterday's list, number 52. So number one, no tengo tiempo para ti. I don't have any time for you. I don't have any time for you. Number two. Tenemos una reunión importante mañana. We have an important meeting tomorrow. We have an important meeting tomorrow. Number three. No tenemos suficiente dinero. We don't have enough money. We don't have enough money. Number four. ¿Tienes un mensaje en el contestador? You have a message on the answering machine. You have a message on the answering machine. Number five. ¿No tienes mi número de teléfono? You don't have my telephone number. You don't have my telephone number. Number six. Tienen un nuevo estilo. They have a new style. They have a new style. Number seven. No tienen mucho tiempo. En voz alta, eh? I need it. I need you to say it out loud. En voz alta. No tienen mucho tiempo. They don't have much time. Number eight. Tengo tiempo, pero no mucho. I have time, but not much. I have time, but not much. Number nine. Tengo problemas, pero no muchos. I have problems, but not many. Number ten. ¿Dónde tienes tu coche? Where do you have your car? Where do you have your car? Number 11. ¿Dónde tiene tu tío su rancho? Where does your uncle have his ranch? Where does your uncle have his ranch? Number 12. ¿Qué tenemos aquí? What do we have here? What do we have here? Hmm, ¿Qué tenemos aquí? What do we have here? Good, good. I hope you did well on that translation list. This was a review of yesterday's sentences, so you should be doing okay with these. Let's move on now and take a look at our word of the day. Word of the day. Yes, it is time for today's word of the day. Our word of the day is bastantes in Spanish, but in English it's actually three words, and we use this very often. We say quite a few, quite a few, quite a few. So here with countable things, we have quite a few books. There are quite a few books in Vaughn Systems. We have published quite a few books. There are quite a few teachers in the office today. There are quite a few cars on this street. There are quite a few choices for lunch in the restaurant. Quite a few, bastantes, quite a few. So you have to understand that few is pocos or pocas. Hay pocas, but here, Quite a few, bastantes. So the opposite. 
there are few or very few Eskimos in Spain. Esquimales, Eskimos, there are very few. But there are quite a few tourists here. There are quite a few tourists. Yes, quite a few, bastantes. So quite a few, quite a few. You must say quite a few in order to give the idea of bastantes. Not just few, but quite a few, quite a few. Yes, quite a few. I saw quite a few friends last weekend. I made quite a few phone calls. I recorded quite a few radio shows last week. I saw quite a few people today. I bought quite a few books last week. Okay, quite a few, bastantes. All right, let's move on now into the new material for today's class. Todos los días. Ellos empujan y todos los días tiran. Every day they push and every day they pull. Push and pull. Yesterday they pushed and yesterday they pulled. So we have push and pull. Pulsar, empujar, to push and to pull, tirar. Did you pull the chain or did you push it? Out loud, I pulled it. I pulled the chain. Did you pull the rope? La cuerda. Did you pull the rope? Yes, I pulled the rope. Now, did you pull the long rope or the short rope? Oh, I, the short one. Give me, say that's the short one. Oh, the short rope. I pulled the short rope. I didn't pull the long rope, Kyle. I pulled the short rope. Okay, let's try a little translation. Tiro de la cuerda. Ella. She pulled the rope. Tira de ello tan fuerte como puedas. Pull on it as hard as you can. Tan fuerte, as hard as you can. Pulse el botón negro. Push the black button. No me empujes. Don't push me, we say. Don't push me. Okay. So did she push the button or did she pull it? She pushed it. Of course, you push a button. Did she push the green button or the red one? So tell me that it's the red one. What did she do? She pushed the red one. She pushed the red button. Do you push the button every day? Yes, I push the button every day. Did you push it yesterday? Yes, I pushed it yesterday. Did, do you pull the rope every day? Yes, I pull the rope every day. Now be careful, it's not pull. P-U-L-L, but pull, 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 not pull, pull, pull. And yesterday, I pulled the rope. Okay? So push and pull. Every day I push, yesterday I pushed. Pulsar, empujar. And to pull, tirar. Every day I pull, yesterday I pulled. Vocabulary of the day. All right, friends, it is time for our vocabulary of the day. That's right, our five words of vocabulary. The first word today, coger, which is a verb with several meanings. The verb to catch. On my other radio program, The Verb Circus, I spent 30 minutes talking about the verb to catch and its basic uses. The verb can be used to catch, for example, to retrieve something from the air, to catch a ball. Okay, for example, to catch can be to acquire transportation, public transportation, to catch the bus, to catch the metro, or a taxi, you can catch a taxi. To catch a cold is to become ill, to get sick, to catch a cold. I caught two colds last year. I catch a cold every winter. And to catch is also used to trap criminals. So when, when, when the police try to... Well, the, well, when the police catch criminals, means they, they gain control and custody of someone to catch a criminal. Okay. Every day I catch, yesterday I caught. The second word is en estos momentos. And we say at present. So I'm Canadian, but at present, I live in Spain. 
vacío. Vacío is empty. Empty. The opposite of empty is full. Not full, but full. Full. Uh, uh, full. Full. Just like pool. Tirar. Pool. Not pool. Pool is where I go swimming. La piscina. Pool. Pool. And here, full. Lleno. Full. Not fool. Fool is un tonto. Full. Okay? Hacer. To make. Of course, it can be to do as well. To make. What we'll talk about make versus do another day. Every day I make. Yesterday I made. I made a cake last weekend. Mm, very nice. Planear. Planificar. This is the verb to plan. Every day I plan. Yesterday I planned. This is a regular verb to plan. All right. Now, the last thing that I want to look at in today's class are some questions. I want you to form some questions, and we're going to use the auxiliary verb did. So, questions in the past. So, ask me if I worked yesterday. So, here you need to use the auxiliary verb did. Kyle, did you work yesterday? Yes, I did. Ask me if I slept at home last night. Kyle, did you sleep at home last night? Yes, I did. Ask me if I called my brother last night. Kyle, did you call your brother last night? My famous brother, who I always talk about. Yes, I called my brother last night. Ask me if I drove to the beach last weekend. Kyle, did you drive to the beach last weekend? No, I didn't. I didn't drive to the beach last weekend. Ask me if I worked when I was 17. Kyle, did you work when you were 17? Yes, I did. I worked when I was 17. Ask me if I played the guitar when I was 18. Kyle, did you play the guitar when you were 18? No, I didn't. Ask me if I lived with my parents when I was a boy. Kyle, did you live with your parents when you were a boy? Yes, I did. So, did you infinitive? Did you, did you, did you, did you, did you? Yes, I did. No, I didn't. We're out of time. We don't have any time left. I would love to keep talking, but we don't have any time. So I'm going to take a break. But I'll be back in a few minutes with the intermediate class. We'll see you then. Bye-bye.